and welcome to another vlog of a natural lifter. I'm going to show you a little bit of a push workout as a natural man over the age of 30 years old. None of that 20 year old fluffiness and you know, fanciness and oh, I'm young, oh, my back doesn't hurt. No, our back hurts, we're old. So winter time is one of the most, I love working out during the winter because I get to wear the hoodies and you know, doesn't feel that hot when I'm working out. I, I don't know, more layers, makes the cardio a little bit more meaningful. All right, so when you're bulking, you wanna keep cardio to a minimal. That doesn't mean you need to stop hitting your numbers. 150 minutes a week, you can split that through like seven days, however you want. Actually, what I do is like four, starting my lips, I do like five minutes of cardio, so I get the blood going. If you have this machine in your gym, please go ahead and use it. It's the best to increase your bench press without the worry of having the bar all over your neck. But yeah, I love this machine. It's very practical. And if you fail, you won't die. My last set. Okay, one more. <coughs> nice. Usually whenever you're programming your workouts, you see that a lot of people warm up in every exercise they do. Don't do that. The only time that you need to warm up again is if you're gonna change the muscle group you're working. Let's say if I'm doing bench in the beginning, you know, moving out to like incline bench, you don't have to warm up again. Not necessarily if you did a proper amount of sets for the first exercise. Now, if you're gonna change to like a back movement, you see, that's another conversation. Ooh. So this is my working set at 80. See how it feels. Easy, okay, one, two, you wanna go? All the way to shoulder level. Slow. Go fast. Control the knees. It's your tricep still in legs. Let's go. Let's RPA. So by now I already have seven working sets going for ladder races where i only usually do two sets lifting with my elbows all the way high full range of motion at least for this particular one heavy partials are another thing I don't know how many have, but I'll count them. When I'm editing, I don't know. An RP eight or nine. Let's see. Twenty-five pounds. Let's go. I think that was it. One thing a lot of people don't do and that is good gym etiquette is to re rack your weights in between sets. Because you don't know if someone is waiting for that and while you're resting, which is two minutes, that person can do their workout. So be mindful of that. All right, some heavy parcels now at 45. Shoulder width. Let's go. One. With this, you want to do a high rep range. I got this from Mr. Joe Meadows, RIP. The guy has some older shoulders, so he knew what he was talking about for sure. Oof. Oh. 
to the burn. Oh. Ooh. All right, so since we're doing shoulders, I like to warm up a little bit. Ooh. Tricep extensions, very lightweight. So I'm gonna move the tricep. So remember, the only time you're gonna warm up is if you're gonna do a whole different muscle group. This is not a different muscle group. However, my joints require a little bit extra warm up since whenever I used to do it without this type of warm ups. I used to get a very nasty pain the next day. So I look into it and then I realize my joints, my tendons, they require more attention whenever I'm doing any type of flexion movements. Right about now is when you take your pump cover. Show off the game, see how it's going. We go a little bit. Ah, naked. Okay. What are you guys been waiting for? Here. All right. This is what 180, well, actually 179 looks like. 510. Three years, natural training. Okay, then we move into cable flies. Eight to 10. This is technical so make sure not to tear a muscle up so to make this fun you your three sets have to be all around high medium low stretch that all the way remember controlling the negative Oh. Lady Bonner, go, go. The fuck is that? <laughs> Alright, so, so some ladder races. One, two. Think of it as if you're pulling a sword out of your holster. Holster? How to say that? Yeah. Yeah. And of course, a good push session cannot be completed without your dips. One, two. Let's see how many I can do. Guess in the comments how many you think I can do. I think I have five. I don't know, I'm gonna do it to failure, so. 
<sighs> More than 10 for sure. Ooh, how oh, many? Or maybe. Ah, that's it. 13 thinking about doing pathetic enhancing drops PEDs. Don't do that, man. Why? Like, you don't know if you're gonna be working out. You don't know if this is a trend, first of all. Your brain is not fully developed. Yeah, sure, a lot of people are making a living out of taking them and exercising, going to the gym and whatnot, being fitness influencers. But that's not, it's not worth to crash your testosterone levels and get to a point that you'll have to be supplementing that for the rest of your life. Things are natural. Things that we already have. Just because a rush, a trend, however you want to call it, that ain't it. It's just pathetic. How many things have you started that you thought you were going to do and you ended up not doing it? Think about that. With this, there's no... Once you hop on it, your whole body will change forever. Stay natural. As much as you can. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this gym vlog. See you in the next time.